guys, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to make some screenshots, give it my screenshots a bit of a bokeh effect, which is similar to like a depth of field in photography. So I'm going to start out with a scene I have in a replay here. I have free cam, free cam moving. Okay, now it's time to take our photography over to Photoshop. Okay, so I have Photoshop open here, and you can use GIMP or another uh, photo editor that uses layers, but I'm gonna use Photoshop for the purpose of this. It has a lot of the same tools. What I'm gonna do first is um, create some extra layers. I'm gonna have four layers. Okay, so I've just made copies of each of the layers and named them the different cars. Okay, so what I've done is created a bit of an edge for each of these cars, which is going to be important when we blend them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having four different layers, so I need to cut out the actual different cars of the layer. Okay, now the next step is we want to do the same thing but to the top layer, and I'm gonna cut out everything except Terry Labonte. Okay, so I've cut out all the layers. Um, I have these two, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur one at a time. But first I want to defringe the layer. So I'm gonna start with this Terry layer. I'm gonna go to matting and defringe, and this just takes off a little bit of the rough edges with the clipping. Um, now I wanna go into filter, and I wanna do a bit of a blur. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap out this image and place it right under Terry 5. Okay, now I'll go in here to blur. And let's do field blur. Oops, I'm blurring the wrong image. That still looks pretty good, actually, even by itself, if we wanted to do it the opposite direction. But I'm gonna blur it the other way. I'm gonna go over to blur, to field blur. Okay. Now we can set how much of a blur we want. Now this is just a little out of focus, so I don't wanna make it too blurry, but yet I don't want it to stand out. I want it to be probably about added a blur to this layer. Now the reason I wanted to get rid of the edges was if I used this layer, see how we get a bit of a gray or black blur around the edge? If I switch to that, that goes away because we're not bleeding into the original shape from the other layer. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the Dale Jr. layer. Okay, so I realized I made a little bit of a mistake. I wasn't, I shouldn't have cut out Dale Jr., but I should have cut out Tony Stewart. But there's a way I can fix that. So, I'm just gonna go over here to my Magic Wand Tour and select this area. I'm gonna make another copy of this layer. I'm gonna do it Dale Jr. Blur. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here to this layer, whoops, sorry, Dale Jr. Blur. Now I want to select the inverse and I want to actually erase everything with Dale Jr. So what this actually is going to be is the layer that we keep of Tony Stewart that's uh, going to, for lack of a better term, pop out. The other thing I want to do though is I want to get rid of uh, essentially Terry Labonte out of this. So now, okay, so what I want to do, so I have three layers now. I have the Terry Labonte layer, which is this blurred layer. I have the cutout of Tony Stewart. In fact, I'm going to change this. This is Tony cutout. Okay. And then I have this background layer, and this is the one where we shaved off the end of of Tony Stewart's car. So what we'll be doing here, we're actually gonna blur this one, this background layer here. So I'm gonna go over here to filter. I'm gonna set this to field blur. 
Now we should be able to add this Tony layer. And there you have it. We have our professional screenshot with a bit of a bokeh or depth of field effect to it. If you like this video, leave a comment. I appreciate it. And as always, have a very happy night.